Oh, hey, 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 it's your boy, Tiki Andy, coming at you from the Martinson Moe Ipakele. That's the Martinson Moe Hangout. If you're just joining us for the first time for our first video, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Today, we're going to be making a drink for y'all. Just one. It's going to be the classic Mai Tai. So, here's what we got to do. We got to gather our ingredients. Our ingredients are going to be rum, a curacao, more rum, some lime juice, and some orgeat syrup. Orgeat syrup, if you don't know, is like an almond syrup. You can do it a couple different ways. You can get almonds, you can mix yourself some simple syrup, you can put them all together, you can marinate them, you can get them all perfect, or you can buy them in the store. Personally, I prefer to buy them in the store. I like Monin, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it delivered, it's non-alcoholic, so it doesn't have an issue with getting delivered to your house or getting delivered to anywhere you are, which I absolutely love. So here's how we're going to start. You need a shaker, first up, for the, for the first version of a Mai Tai. This is the Trader Mix version. So there's multiple versions of Mai Tais. You can make them any way you want. You can put any ingredients in you want. Some people say orange juice doesn't belong. Pineapple juice doesn't belong. Passion fruit doesn't belong. It doesn't matter. Make the Mai Tai the way you like a Mai Tai. This is the way I like a Mai Tai, inspired by Trader Vix. So you start off with a shaker with some ice in it. All right, so you start with that shaker with ice. You gotta have some rum. I prefer the plantation rum, aged five years. It's delicious, it's good. You can find it in any of your local liquor stores, or you can sometimes find it in the grocery store depending on where you live and depending on how good they are. But if you don't have this, a Sailor Jerry's works really well. You can get that in almost all liquor stores or almost all grocery stores that sell liquor. Or you can use uh, Bacardi Gold, if you have to, not my preference, but if you got to, you got to do what you got to do. So you start with a little bit of this, an ounce. So that's a shot. So a shot of the gold rum. Pour that bad boy in there, make it some happy. Now you have a dark rum. A dark rum, I like Myers. Myers, again, available in most places. You can get to it, it's easily accessible. If you can't find Myers, Kraken makes a good dark rum as well. So any real dark rum, it's gonna work really good. Again, you want just one ounce of this, one shot. So it's one rum, one dark rum. Put another dark rum in there. Let's see how that goes. Delicious. Now, the other one that you need, so one, 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 lime juice. Now, everybody loves fresh lime juice. It's delicious. You gotta get a bunch of fresh limes, you squeeze them in there. Oh, it's so good. But let's be honest, not everybody's gonna be able to get fresh lime juice everywhere they go. They're not gonna be able to say, oh, I've got 15 limes with me. I'm gonna squeeze a bunch of fresh lime juice and serve that all day. If you can, great, good for you. I like for just an easy drink, something you're gonna make by yourself. This real lime juice, it's okay, it's from concentrate, but it tastes just the same, it's delicious. You want an ounce of that too, so one shot of the lime juice. It's fun, you guys can't see me pouring this in here, but believe it or not, it's going in there anyways. So, you've got one rum, one ounce, one dark rum, one ounce, one lime, one ounce. So one, one, one. Now, you get to your halves. So half an ounce or half a shot of orange juice syrup. Again, I prefer the Monin for this. It's a little less sweet than the Torini or the Giffords. And that's okay for this one. I'll tell you a little secret in a second. So half an ounce of this, half a shot. Lastly, you need the dry curacao. Dry curacao is an orange flavor. Check that out. It's delicious, hard to find. Your liquor stores might have it. Grocery stores, probably not gonna have this. If you can find it, it's really good. Your liquor stores will have it. If they don't have it, they'll probably order it for you. So you just gotta ask for the dry curacao, with orange flavored. Whoop, there you go. Better if it's in frame, right? Again, half an ounce of this, half a shot. All right, so our ingredients are mixed. They're with our ice. We need the cap. Put that on there, there it is. Helps if I actually have the cap with me. Shake it up. Now when you're shaking this thing, you really wanna get it to where it's cold on the outside. You're not trying to shake the hell out of it. You're not trying to mix it all together with the shaking. You're really trying to get it cold. 
and crush the ice a little bit in your shaker. Now you take that and you grab yourself your glass, crack that bad boy open, pour it in your glass. Ta-da, you've got a traditional Trader Vic's Mai Tai. Oh, that is freaking delicious. Wonderful. Now, I'm also gonna give you a little bit of tips. Here's how you make additional Mai Tais. Now, this is the way I make it in the Martinson Moe Ipekele. You don't have to make it this way. This is just the way I prefer. So, if I'm gonna make a non-traditional, non-original Trader Vic's Mai Tai, I'm just gonna make a good Mai Tai drink that is delicious, sweet, juice forward, not as much rum forward as the, tra as the Trader Vic's one. Here's what you need. You need a couple of bottles of rum, you need some orgeat syrup, you need passion fruit juice, lime juice, as well as orange juice. And if you really want to get fancy, lemon lemon cello. So here's what you do on this one. No shaker involved. Whoop. No shaker involved. You need a cup and some ice. So a cup with the ice with it, ice in it is where you start. Then you go with this. Similar recipe. You get traded like Sailor Jerry's, put an ounce of Sailor Jerry's in there. That's a shot. So a shot of Sailor Jerry's. Now here, dark rum. Again, dark rum is delicious. I like, for this, the Kraken. So put an ounce or a shot of Kraken in there. Lime juice. Again, love to have it when I've got just fresh limes and I've squeezed it all and I've worked all day to have that squeezed lime juice, but sometimes you don't. So this is perfectly acceptable. Put about half an ounce of lime juice in there. Then I prefer to make mine with passion fruit juice. So I start with passion fruit juice as my base juice. I put about two, two and a half ounces in there. So two shots or two and a half shots of passion fruit juice. I then add my orgeat. For this, I like a sweeter orgeat. So the Torini orgeat that you can get online, Amazon, or really anyway, torini.com, or a couple different like web stores that you can get at, go for it. I prefer Giffords if you can find it. My local, uh, my local liquor store, Stocks Giffords. I love them for it. I've asked for it. They'll buy me a case if I need it. So Giffords is what I prefer. It's just a sweeter version of Orgeat syrup, which again is that almond-based syrup. Kind of tastes like maraschino cherries. So if you've had a Mai Tai and you get that maraschino cherry flavor, it's actually the almond syrup that you're getting, not maraschino cherries at all. And then the very, very last thing I put in there is a teeny tiny bit of OJ. So I usually use just a float. So like half an ounce or a little bit less than half an ounce of orange juice in there. Mix that all into one cup. You stir it up a little bit. So no shaking on this one. Just give it a nice big stir. Incorporate all those flavors. Make sure the almond syrup gets really incorporated in there and you serve that up directly. It's delicious. And those are the two ways that I like to make a Mai Tai. I hope you had a good time today. I hope you're making yourself a Mai Tai or having a cocktail or just getting inspired to do something fun tonight. Who cares if you're just making a gin and tonic or having a whiskey over the rocks? Just enjoy yourself. Have a great time. I appreciate you tuning in for the very first Martinson and Moai Ipakele video with Tiki Andy. Have yourself a great night. Talk to you soon. Bye.